welcome back to the channel hope you're all well today we've got some transfer news coming up and um, with the january market just around the window in about five or six weeks time after the world cup new year on the first of january it slams wide open the transfer market and i expect newcastle united yet again to be very very busy in the transfer market before we get to that people can you please consider to get down there and subscribe to my channel i'm so close to 700 subs uh, it'll be unreal to hit that um so yeah that'd be great thank you very much you know also if you get it a quick like completely free that'd be amazing as well it really helps my channel grow and get um shown around, my, around youtube i love what i'm doing so yeah help me on my way people i'll be very very grateful thank you very much let's get in the news people and the player i'm talking about today who's been linked with newcastle united all over the media recently is mihailo modric the ukrainian winger who was 21 years of age and in the daily mail he has a 88 million pound price tag on his head which have slapped on him and um, i know that newcastle united and arsenal were working on a package of about 50 million pounds but i'm hearing they've slapped 100 million euros which is about 80 million pounds price tag on his head and rightly so the kids only going to get better and better he's outstanding on the screen there we turn all the media linked all over newcastle united i'm here on arsenal and now manchester united are in interest to sign him in january and um, so he's a very very wanted man but i believe well deep pocket of the service in now we will be matching anyone in the transfer market now I believe that well and true. Soon we'll go on to a bit ways from and that, but now on the screen we'll look at his stats. This player is unbelievable. Mihailo Modric, he is a Ukrainian national. He's 21 years of age. Um, he's played 10 matches in the Premier League in the Ukrainian division this season. Um, scoring five goals and six assists. And in the Champions League, he's played six times scoring three goals and getting two assists and that's just this season this kid is a wonder kid he's absolutely class i believe at the moment in term newcastle are weak on that left hand side and um, they've been playing murphy there and so it's fraser when maxi was out injured and um, but maxi hasn't really been involved with the team he's been on the bench recently because uh, rightly so eddie howe's been playing players on merit and i wouldn't say maximum's had a very good start of the season um not really so i think that we could strengthen that side and i say the left hand side because almiron on the right has been superb of late so i don't think we need to go in the market for a right winger in january if almiron stays fit all season a left winger for me would be ideal um and this player fits all of the bill he's absolutely top top draw. just look at his stats here for goals assists he's right up there with anyone he's absolutely quality um you look at his, his shooting, his shooting is unbelievable. Um, his shots on goal, his long shots. Um, this kid for me looks absolutely quality. He can score with both feet, left and right. Um, screamers, tap ins. He likes to hog that left wing. He can cut in or you go round you, he can go anywhere he want, wants to. He's absolutely unreal. Um, he can set a goal up easily, goes down the line. Like years ago, Arsenal used to do, they used to run right on the goalkeeper line and then pass the ball back to so everyone was onside. This is what this kid does. He's absolutely classy. He's very, very clever what he does. Outstanding, outstanding player and he's only going to get better. He's only 21 years of age. I think what he could be like when he's 27, 20 years old and he's prime. An absolute beast. And I hope that Saudi Arabian PIF get him in in January and snap him up. If they want 88 million for him, why not try a 70 million pound bid with some add-ons? Because I think that we need to go now and make a marquee signing properly. And I think the Saudis now, I believe they'll do that in January. If we are still the top four come January, which will be in January because we don't play it after Christmas now because of the World Cup. But I believe that Newcastle United will invest big on two or three, probably two outstanding elite players to get Newcastle United to that next level and try and get Champions League this season. Modric started his playing career at medalist Kharkiv in 2010. He then moved to the Dnipro Dinoteski Academy. I hope I pronounced that right. 
really hard to pronounce that. So he went to the academy. Um, he moved to Shatter Academy in 2016. 2018-19 season, he played for Shatter in the under-21 category. In 2018, he was part of the senior squad. He made his debut for Shatter in the Ukrainian Cup in a match against Olympic Donetsk in October 2018. Then he went on loan to Arsenal Kiwi. In February 2019, he was loaned to the Ukrainian Premier League side um, for the remainder of the 2018-19 season, um, playing 10 matches without scoring any goals. So he had a poor, poor um, season there. And then in 2019-20 season, um, he played in the Ukrainian Premier League against Desna Shenihiv. Um, and a couple of other ones I can't pronounce, so I'm not going into that. Given the contribution to win the title in 2019-20 season. But it was in September of 21, um, he scored his first goal in the Ukrainian Premier League against Maripol at a Volodymyr Boyka Stadium. In September 21, he played his first UEFA Champions League match against Inter Milan. On the 27th of October, he played against Kronometers Odessa and his team advanced in into the Ukrainian Cup quarter-final. Following numerous strong performances, Shaka Mudrik attracted attention of the number of European clubs, including Sevilla and Arsenal. And this season in 2022-23, um, on the September of this year, he scored his first Champions League goal in a 4-1 win over RB Leipzig. So this kid is a, is a real good kid. You know, he's also got honours with Shattered Donetsk, he's won the Ukrainian Premier League with him in 2019-20 season and he's also won the Ukrainian Super Cup in 2021 so he's got trophies, he's got medals um, but I believe this kid's going for the Premier League and I believe in January he will be in the Premier League I've got a strong feeling that um, Arsenal and Newcastle will really go rivals at this I've heard that Arsenal do not want to pay £80 million, pounds. they're only sticking out 50 but um, we'll go to the 70 money now I believe we can outbid Arsenal. It's only thing is, if we will do that in January, and if it's all right with the FFP and all that. But I believe the Saudis will give it the green light, um, and I think this might happen. And Newcastle United might get this player. Mihailo Modric, the 21 year old winger Ukrainian who plays a Shaka Donetsk, who has been in outstanding form this season. Let me know in the comments what you think about him. Would you like my Newcastle United? Also, give this video a like and subscribe that would be amazing thank you very much to my channel um it really does help the channel you subscribing to me so i keep on doing what i'm doing thank you very much everyone um yeah i'll leave it there people um i'll see you on the next one have a good night god bless